In this video I'm going to introduce the bell curve. Now the bell curve um, is the name that's given to the normal distribution that we'll be working through in uh, the next series of videos. Now what I want you to really think about is that what we're going to be considering is a large sample and we could be looking at um, the weights of uh, a large sample of uh, a particular species of fish, for example, or looking at the heights of um, boys in year seven across the country. So we'd be looking at a very large sample, and what we would expect is that there would be about the mean a large proportion, okay, either side of the mean, and then as you get further and further away from the mean, there's going to be a few people, so if we go with the, uh, the height example of the year 7s, there's going to be a few year 7s that are quite tall, and a few year 7s that are quite short, but the majority are going to be in the middle. So the kind of shape that we would expect would look something like this. So about the mean, so the majority of the uh, population that we're considering is in the middle. And then as we get further and further out, we have these tails that tend towards zero. Um, and it's less likely to find people on these outliers. Okay. Now, away from the mean, what we consider are standard deviations away from the mean. This is how we're going to be considering the bell curve. So a certain standard deviation away or to the right would be mu plus that standard deviation, one standard deviation. Then I can go two standard deviations away and then I could go three standard deviations away. And I do the same in the opposite direction. Try and get these roughly equal. So mu take away sigma, mu take away two sigma, and then finally mu take away three sigma. And so what we can see is that the majority of the people in the population is between three standard deviations either side of the mean. And that's quite an important thing to remember, because this is what we would expect. So the actual percentages that we're looking at here, um, so between two standard deviations of the mean, so one standard deviation either side of the mean, you're looking at roughly 34.1% of the data either side of that mean. Okay, so that middle section together is 68.2% of the population. Then if you go to two standard deviations, then you're looking at roughly 13.6% there and 13.6% there. Okay, so together you're looking at... Uh, 47.7% either side of the mean, 47.7% either side. And then finally, if you go into three standard deviations away, then each of these smaller sections would be about 2.1%. Okay? So you can see that actually, if you total up these percentages, then we're talking about 2.1, then times that by 2, 99.6% of the data is within three standard deviations either side of the mean. So the majority is there. There is a small percentage either side 
um, that makes up these two parts. So we'd be looking at uh, 0.2 of a percent each. So not very much, but that 0.2% goes all the way up to infinity, and that 0.2% goes all the way to minus infinity. Okay, so this is how the bell curve is brought about, how it's constructed, and we're going to be using these facts. Um, to answer questions about certain populations. It's a very powerful piece of kit because many things in real life are normally distributed. Um, things like weights and heights and lengths, they are all generally normally distributed, especially for very large populations.